Happy Saturday, guys. Guess where I'm getting ready to go? <clears throat> Guess. Getting ready to go vote. Me and Michaela. We're getting ready to go vote. I got my coffee. And we're getting ready to head out the door. You ready, Michaela? Yeah. I'm not. 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 I'm
Well, Michaela was able to vote. I was not able to vote today because I was at the wrong office, the wrong location on the wrong day. On the website, it said the 16th and I could have swore that today was the 16th, but today is the 17th, so that was yesterday. And my location to vote is not open um, on the weekend, so I have to wait until either Monday or I can probably go on Friday to do early voting. But guess who voted? Where's your sticker? In my wallet. Michaela voted today, you guys, for the first time. I'm so happy for her. And she's like, okay, mom. Okay. So, um, where she registered to vote is in a different county than where I registered to vote because she registered to vote before we at the other house when we moved. I didn't register to vote until we just moved. So, it's a little different. So, she was able to go vote today because that county was open. But where I have to register, or where I have to vote, wasn't. But... Um, that's fine and everything, but you guys, I'm so excited again because on my way home, I'm I stumbled up. Well, there's nothing in there. I stumbled up on this little festival here, which um, Michaela says they do this every weekend, but I've never seen it here. It's right up the street, right up the street from my house. So we're going to go and see what they have. I'm going to bring you guys along. I mean... I live for this type of stuff, so let's go. Michaela, isn't this nice? I mean, but look at this old house, you guys. I wonder if somebody, I doubt it if anybody lives there. It doesn't look like it. Somebody probably owned this property and just don't do anything with it. So nice. It's beautiful. Dang. You're a rebel, getting into trouble. You are kind of like a fire, like a fire, like a fire. Unpredictable. Michaela and I um, found this little antique store here as we were walking through the little festival there. They have little antique shops on the side. And they have some really good stuff in here, like really good, like old furniture. But it's so beautiful. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. And did you guys see that table I just showed you guys? So nice. I mean, it's a lot of wood stuff in here. This is so nice. I want to say that Angie and I came here before. Like, her and I have been in this store because I think the Christmas shop is right up the street from here. So, they have some beautiful pieces in here. Old furniture, too. Very nice. Hello? Look at this, you guys. All these old clocks. How beautiful. This is so nice. What is it in here? Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at the real sled that Santa slid on. Oh my god, look at this. This is so awesome, you guys. They have like a little diner down there. This is an auction place. Oh my god, look how nice. 
gosh this is. Jeez, can we go up? You guys, this is like heaven here for me. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. You put him in the kitchen? No. So all of this stuff, is it for sale or is it? Oh, it has sale prices on it. All that this stuff is old, you guys. And I love old stuff. really nice this is amazing look at this you guys look at me and Michaela's at. we're gonna have some lunch here it's called Miss Dots Drive and Sweet Shop on Main Street and I think we're gonna have a burger we're gonna share burger and fries. They have a barbecue bacon cheddar burger, Angus burger. This is their menu. Yes. I think I'm gonna do. Do you want the barbecue bacon cheddar burger? Yes. Or what do you what? That burger. Ooh, they got one called the Big Nasty. The Big Nasty, but it has spam in it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think the, I think what we say with the bacon. Yeah. Or the barbecue bacon cheddar burger. What time do they Thank you. I got my little voter out today. Oh, she voted. Look at my little baby girl voting. I love you, Michaela. I love you too. <laughs> this is our burger and fries. Which I feel like they don't give you a whole lot, but it still looks good. I'm excited to eat it. Me and Michaela is sharing, you guys. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Mmm. Mmm. You guys, the fries are air fried fries. They're not fried in oil, they're air fried. They're really good. This burger is amazing. Yeah, mm. I I love it. This place is so cute. You guys, that was so good. It was so nice to be there. Do something different. That was a nice little. I don't know what we found. We found us a little jewel. So excited. So I want to go next door and see if there is a. If that Christmas shop is next door. I hope it is. Learn that the little Christmas store is online only. They're not. Um, they're not open to the public at this time. So that sucks pretty really sad about that because they had some really cute stuff in there and it was like all Christmas things. You want to go in this store, Michaela? Michaela don't want to mess with me today because she felt like she didn't get dressed for this day to come out and just be in stores. But why not? We're right here. Oh, look at these. How beautiful. You guys, look at this old photo album look at this this is so amazing look how old it is 
This is so vintage. I wish I knew like from what time this is from. Dang. That's amazing. Love it. Oh, look at this ladder. This one's nice. This was the old Christmas store. This is the store. This was filled with like Christmas stuff. It was stuffed with Christmas stuff, you guys. This is it. I have a whole video on the channel where Angie and I came here. And everything here was filled with Christmas stuff. I'm gonna ask the lady, this is it. We came in through this door because we parked back there. And everything was filled with Christmas stuff. Now they're online. So this is crazy. But this is it, you guys. Look at those yarn balls. Those are cool. <clears throat> wow. Everything is so nice. This oh, St. Nick. Excuse me. Did this used to be the Christmas store back there where all the Christmas stuff? So what happened was we had we had two guy vendors that were in the back and they retired. So the Christmas store she Megan rented the back. Right. So oh. just for that time. It was a lot of Christmas stuff back there. Right. She wasn't gonna um, she knew she wasn't going to stay, but she closed her Christmas store because her online, she's across the street, in her, but now you can't go in there. Right. She does online. Only. She's got a multi-million dollar business, business over there. She can't even keep up. Even the song is crazy. I know when I came here. So it, she had to close her store because she had to have like at least four people over there because it was so busy. There were so many questions and yeah. things. And then. I mean, she can't even keep up right now. She said she's selling just like December. Jesus. So you can go online, and it's the Jolly Store. The Jolly Store, she that's right. And then you just go right there and pick it up. Really? Yeah. I wonder if and we can go peek through the windows. No, she's got it all blocked. Oh. Yeah. It's it was, just a big old warehouse. I mean, it's, it's huge upstairs and down. But really? I know. I love to go in there, too. Look at Michaela. This is that old house. What's wrong? Huh? Okay. I said it has holes in the wood. I don't know if I stand on that. I'm K through it. So old. They got cameras. Do they? Mm hmm. It's an old house. I don't know. It's so nice, though, you guys. Look at this. I'm sure you can't go inside of here, but this is like. Can you imagine people used to like sit outside on the porch and live here? This is so nice. We better get out of here before they come get us because they have cameras out. I want to see the backyard. Look at this. Big old porch wrap around. I could imagine they had like rocking chairs and they would drink coffee and kids would play out front i don't know why i like old houses and furniture vintage something about it goes home just for a minute. They don't get no days off.
I'm getting to the point to where I'm, I don't even like driving a car. Aww. You know, and driving is my thing. I don't know, because I'm driving, and look, look who in the passenger seat. Y'all don't never see that. <laughs> like, hey, you want to drive? No. Nope. <laughs> we both like, no. No. It's sad, too, because... Come on, baby, you getting burnt out. out. You're burnt out. You're tired. <laughs> so guys we are i just picked babe up and we're at lito's um i don't even know if i'm pronouncing it right but i've always seen this store we watched them build it and then um i've been hearing the commercials and everything online i mean on the radio and we were just driving by and i'm like babe do you want to go in there and see what they got like let's see what lito's is all about i've never been to lito's before so this would be interesting i think it's kind of like all these not quite sure but we're getting ready to see how <laughs> she what'd you say babe it made by all no i said it i think it's kind of like all these i'm not sure but we shall see Those, you guys, look at their pumpkins. Yeah, this place reminds me of Aldi's, but um, seems to be a little bit bigger. And they have a nice little bakery here. <clears throat> Their prices seem to be a lot less. This little bag of lemons is 99 cents. It's not bad. How does that look? Huh. It look good, huh? It seems like the, the prices are uh, beets, disgusting. You gonna eat them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What'd you do for your breakfast? Well, go right ahead then, honey. like a little basket. Yeah. All right guys, so we just leaving out of Lido's and both Babe and I are not fans of this store. It's like a lot of like off brand and stuff that, I don't know. I guess for certain things you would come here, but not to like really grocery shop. I'll stick with Walmart. <laughs> yeah, I prefer to go to Walmart. And some things are priced good, like the eggs. I got, oh, huh? I got it. I have a drink. Oh, I dropped my key. Some things are priced good, but some things are not. To me, I feel like I might as well go to the store and buy them. And, uh, oh, I mean, yeah, at the store, but I mean, like a regular grocery store. This is supposed to be like a discounted store, but. It's like a bodega. It's really not. <laughs> it's like a bodega. What's a bodega? Oh, like a corner store? Yep. Yeah. Like a corner little store you go to, pick up some little items. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want some beets? Go grab you some beets right quick. You guys, babe bought him some beets. 
Why would you? Why are you? Do you like that? Bitch, you're good. You don't like beets? How much was that bag? Not that much. They buy anything. He think it's good for him. At least I be trying. <laughs> you try that, but. Put on what? You follow it up by with something that ain't good. But you trying, huh? I'm trying. You want me one? No. Beets taste like dirt. Beets taste like dirt. Beets by dirt. No. <laughs> Beets by dirt. <laughs> you stupid. No. Beats by dirt. They come out of the dirt. Oh, that's exactly what they taste like to me. I've never been a fan of no beets. Ugh. Beets. Yeah. It says to rethink grocery on the sign there. It's good, babe. You eat you some beets but won't eat no smothered chicken? I don't like my food. Ooh, and it smell beans. like dirt. Ew. It's balsamic beets. It's, it's pickled? Mm, balsamic. Ew. Pickled dirt. <laughs> yep. Not bad. Probably won't be shopping here, you guys. But everybody's different. You guys can try it out. Yeah. Um, try it out. I've seen people really go to Lido's and like really, really grocery shop. People don't be grocery shopping, grocery shopping no more. Like, we don't, definitely. People don't like. Remember you used to go spend three or four hundred in one lot? Yeah. People just grocery shop for the day. Like, oh, I feel I'm like sure. making spaghetti. Let me go get some ground I'm sure beef people or some grocery turkey shop. or um, some chicken or whatever. And people grocery shop for like... People grocery shop for the day, babe. People don't... You think so? Do you guys grocery shop little... for the day or do you guys grocery shop for the month? That's why they have these little stores. That's why little stores like that can survive because people on the way home from work, you're going to stop in here and get dinner and then you're going to leave. That's I it. Guess. I mean, when, whatever they don't have, you're going to hit Walmart. We don't grocery shop like bulk grocery shop and I feel like that's better in, in some sense. I think like monthly you should do like um, to me, I shop for your, like your meats, shop for like your canned foods if that's what you choose to buy or whatever, um, things like that. But as far as like produce and stuff that will go bad on a weekly basis, yeah. But we don't we don't do that really. We shop. If you go out here and buy cookies, I'll chips, the store every day. and all that stuff. They gonna eat it all up in one day. We not buying cookies and chips no more. Our kids is out the snacks you day. Some, you just bought some chips. For myself? Oh no, for Amari. For Amari. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody eats. But I buy stuff like that here and there for him because yeah, when you buy them, he, he will he will eat two, three, four bags at a time. You hear the deal creeping downstairs. As soon as we go to bed. As soon as we go to bed. <laughs> it ain't worth it. <laughs> And I be shaking my head. It ain't worth it. That's why I don't grocery shop like that. And then you eat all, all eat it all in one bop and it's gone. Sad. It is, but. Because you be eating. I don't get nothing food. Oh, but you eat. You eat truck stop food, babe. And you like it. You rather have truck stop food than my dinner. What you talking about? I eat your food all the time. Woman. Barely. You guys, one He's day, babe. Crazy. Babe, I made. Um, what you made? I, I cooked dinner. Hog malls. I cooked dinner. I don't eat hog malls, pig feet. And then I. Um, Oxtails. And all. I don't eat all he that. Went to, he went to McDonald's. Hey, what you cook? I don't remember what it was that I you made. But it was good. It was a good meal. And you went to McDonald's. After I cooked, I was like, oh, okay. turkey necks. So. He didn't even, he didn't even eat it. That's the whole problem. I don't want no turkey neck. I don't cook turkey necks. I don't, I don't cook turkey. I've never made turkey hog necks. Malls. I ain't never made hog malls. You, 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 just, just say it, babe. What did you cook? I didn't eat. Now I went somewhere else. It was that chicken I made. I made like a jerk chicken that day. The day, remember, I was oh, making. I didn't it. want no jerk chicken. Yeah, you didn't want it. She be making stuff. And she'd be barely trying. And it'd be good, but you don't... What? That I'd be barely trying. That you just be like, you know what? I'm going to make I'm gonna make this. And then that means you can't eat it because that's my first time making it? Yeah, get to know how to do it. Wow. Dang. 
But anyway, like I said, I don't like smothered chicken. I don't like my chicken dipped in any type of liquid. Just I, grease, I like huh? That. Dipped in grease. Dipped in grease. Fried. Baptize your gre your chicken in grease. Fry it. Put some put some flour on it. Season the flour up. Dip my chicken up in the flour. Yeah. Put it in the grease. And that's it. You want oil? I don't want no oil. You want oil, babe? Just, you gonna you gonna strain it after it's done? But yeah, I want my chicken it. fried. Hard. I like baked chicken. And I like um. You know what I do like when she do like the um the cream of chicken with the rice and the chicken and all that stuff. Do you like that? I, I didn't know that. Shut up. I didn't know. Please, I shut didn't up. know. Shut up. I did not know. It's okay, okay babe. She don't think nobody wanna hear her little phone. You don't. <laughs> you don't. This one right here. But when I got with you, you didn't even know how to cook. I didn't. You're right. Right. So, but you didn't teach me, so I don't. What you mean? I made you get better. You inspired to get better because of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for me, you still wouldn't know how to cook. All these years later. If it wasn't for you, you don't think I'd be cooking for somebody else? No. Okay. I'd have had another husband. You wouldn't be cooking like you're cooking now. Why? Why wouldn't I? Or when you what? Cook for somebody else. Why would you want to cook for somebody else? Because you'd be thinking about me the whole time you cook it. <laughs> I wouldn't know you. Yeah, right. This this guy right here, Loki Bear. No point, no.